So I was putting some facts and figures about the Ask Tom website up on Twitter just for fun and games, and someone responded saying, could we have a look at the Ask Tom data model? So I did that in a blog post. In fact, you can see in the description below, there's a link to the blog post if you want to check out the Ask Tom data model. But it made me think of one thing I should probably emphasize, and that is when it comes to building performance into your systems, it's important to think about it up front, but that doesn't mean you have to over-engineer everything. And there's a couple of tables in Ask Tom that help me describe that really well. Whenever we log on to Ask Tom as administrators, we get a basic overview of what's going on on the site. How many questions haven't been read? How many questions are published? How many reviews we have to look at? And you can see it's all presented just in a nice table. Now you might be thinking, how do we go about? How do we keep that information up to date? We don't. We simply run a query against the real tables to get those counts. So there's 25,000 questions in Ask Tom and there's 130,000 reviews. So every time an administrator goes to that main page, we query 150,000 rows. Now you might be thinking, oh, surely we have to come up with a means of, of fixing that and improving the performance. But the reality is, yes, that's not a particularly fast query, but how often do administrators go to that page? I mean, I log on to Ask Tom a few times a day. My colleagues, Chris and Ria might do the same. We're probably going to run that query 10 times, maybe 20 times an entire day. Who cares if it takes one or two seconds to run? It's not a big deal. It's not a performance problem, even though it's probably not the most efficient query. On the other hand, on the data model, we have a table called Ask Tom Top 20. We use that table to have the top 20 questions based on the number of views that question has received. Now that can be viewed by anyone. You simply go to the Ask Tom popular or hot pages. Given that we don't know how many people are viewing Ask Tom, all we know is it's a lot. We get a couple of hundred thousand page views every week in Ask Tom at least. That means that we have to engineer some performance into it. That's why we have a top 20 table. Every time someone views a question, we take a record of that. But that Ask Tom top 20 table is like a materialized view. It's refreshed incrementally to keep an idea of what the top 20 questions are. We wouldn't want to scan our entire list of questions just to paint that information every time someone clicks on the popular or hot pages option. It's fine for us as administrators because we know the usage is low, but for the general public, we've engineered a performance solution. So that's what I mean by generate the performance enhancements you need to suit the requirement. You don't have to have every single query in your application be blazingly fast. You might be spending a lot of effort and time for not much benefit. See you all soon.